Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. So today I have Cora Beatty herself with me. Hey guys. And we're just gonna be discussing the differences between medical school and college. So I'm a medical student and she's- A senior and undergrad, so college, university, whatever you wanna call it. So there are a few categories that we're gonna be comparing and contrasting between. So are you ready? The first category is time. I think that's super like subjective on what college you go to. For do me, do you feel like you have time? Because I mean, no, you're doing I have zero you're doing time. YouTube, you have time for that. Yeah, but like that literally takes up all of my waking hours if I try to do YouTube in school. So how do you have time to go on an airplane? What are you talking about? It's winter break. <sighs> Medical school, you have more time to do other things. Basically, you're either you're spending more time studying. You're spending probably less time doing extracurricular and other stuff, so you have that extra time to just do what you like. Like, yeah. how's the environment in college? Very subjective what college you go to, what community you're in as far as like major. Mm -hmm. That's actually a big deal, yeah. So if you're like in different majors, like there's gonna be probably different environments. The party major. I party know. all day. I don't know party, the party major. Is. But like for pre-meds, I think the environment in undergrad, especially when you're starting out, is very like cutthroat. I feel like at the college we went to, people are pretty helpful. At our college? It depends. <laughs> Wait, what? Uh, I have a very opposite opinion. It depends. It's like, hmm, you're right. It I mean, there's a couple of help really helpful people. For medical school, it's a smaller environment and people know each other, so people are more helpful. While in college, colleges are generally bigger and things are more anonymous and people will sabotage you if they can. If you go to a really small private institution, yeah, you'll there probably are get small the same, colleges. You probably get the same treatment. As far as like the party environment, I actually think at least pre meds, more pre meds. Party and med school. People, yeah, party in med school because they feel like it's fine now, but <laughs> it's fine now. yeah. But if you're an undergrad, I feel like the only way you can apply to medical school and stuff is like if you're kind of not partying. Yeah. So basically, what we're saying is, once you get in medical school, go crazy. I'm just kidding. <laughs> medical school in the first two years, it's generally a pass fail system. There are some schools that have grading, but generally, for my school, for instance, it's mostly pass fail. Yeah, grading in college though. I would say it's pretty different than that, right? You have to like <laughs> different actually- Different is one word. Yeah, you have to like really care about every single point if you want an A. College is generally bigger, you have different sections, there's like maybe different biases in grading. There's just a lot more factors to grading, I think, than just like pass-fail. Like if I take a pass-fail class at my college, I'm so much less stressed. If you get all A minuses in your classes for a semester or for all, throughout like all four years, for instance, you're still gonna be under the average GPA for getting into like Yale Med School, for example. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you really have to work on getting those solid A's. Yeah. Um, so that was, was that everything in grading we wanna talk about? I feel like there was something else in grading I wanted to talk about. Oh yeah. In medical school, you are mostly taking multiple choice tests, so that's how you're graded. Generally, most exams are not multiple choice. Like the for like science classes. Yeah, I mean biology has a lot of multiple. Yeah, choice. biology is just a subject that generally. Yeah, but like chemistry. But even organic. biology, they have a free response section. Yeah. I feel like college is just they take every opportunity to be free response if they can. Like recognizing is obviously much easier than recalling from scratch. So medical school, you probably need to know the information you're learning to less detail or to less depth, and then for college, you need to master any organic chemistry principle or any, basically anything yeah. you're learning, you need to know to a pretty deep understanding. Yeah. Related to that is education. So in medical school, you're obviously learning more medicine-based things, which if you're interested in medicine, should be more entertaining and fun. Yep. And then for college, how do you like the college experience of learning? College forces you most of the time to take a lot of classes, especially when you're an undergrad that you have zero interest in. But when you get into upper div, you definitely you're learning about good stuff, so you feel a lot better learning it. There's the first two years of undergrad, which is, like you said, the generic stuff you might not be interested in. Third and fourth year, it's more focused on what you're interested in. And then medical school, you're basically just, just learning science and medicine. So it gets progressively more 
into what you're interested in. I as mean, long as you're interested in science. If you're not interested in science, then but I guess it probably it, gets worse every year. I guess even within med medical school, though, there's probably some stuff that is annoying. Yeah, like, there's science topics like, that you don't like. If you're into, for example, like radiology, when you're doing your daily radiology work, you're looking at x-rays. But obviously you have to get the background yeah, knowledge, that's a but great like, point. you don't care as a, somebody who's an aspiring radiologist to learn his stuff. Yeah, that would be terrible. Um, but I can see how you would be in that situation. Because if you want that job, but you don't like all this extra detail, then you're screwed. How hard was your college one to 10, your college experience? I would rate it a nine. Why? Uh, because I cried a lot. I had to do physics. I hated physics. I had to study for the MCAT and lock myself in a room and not talk to anyone for weeks. And So the MCAT was hard? The MCAT was, I told him, like the MCAT was probably one of the hardest things I've done in my life. I so. literally locked Oh yeah, I actually locked my door, in a room. yeah. And I just stared at like, I just sat in front of a window and just looked outside sometimes and was like, shit, I wish I could go outside and relax, but I can't. Uh, one out of 10, I guess now, like earlier in the year, I would have rated it a little lower. Now we're getting into some more meaty stuff and you do need to spend more time memorizing things. So maybe I'd rate it an eight right now. So how would you compare the USMLE with the MCAT? Um, like those are the two main yeah, standardized that's a tests. That's a great point. Well, the MCAT, at least with the college we went to, again, it depends on the college. I feel like there was more overlap with what we were being taught in our classroom, so we were more prepared for the MCAT. That's a 20% of what we were taught was on the MCAT. Yeah, so we, we learned did a lot cover, of extra stuff. Yeah, in exactly. College. So we covered everything that was on the MCAT, but that was only 20% of our education. And there was another 80% that was just like fluff. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. of like people's research, etc. So. The medical school uh, curriculum, I feel like it's a little different than what's on the US MLE. So, you do need to do a lot more separate studying for that, I think, than the MCAT. So, maybe that exam will take more time to prepare for it. That probably drives back to the specific schools for both tests. Like, if your school, medical school, is teaching you everything on the US MLE. Yeah, some schools do do that. They're yeah, specifically for sure. preparing like, you for it. Yeah, there's some schools that like make their tests from the USMLE makers. These are all our experiences. Like she mentioned like a hundred times, it depends on what school you go to. If you have a different experience, let us know in the comments. Please like, share, subscribe, check out my channel, or you're already on my channel. I'm usually doing this in on your on channel. channel. So please check out other videos on my channel. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and also subscribe to Core Beauty if you want to check out her. She does beauty, fashion, um, like so. occasional educational stuff. If you want the real education, press the subscribe button here. So here. And uh, <laughs> thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye, guys.